Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and since a lot of us are having barbecues this time of year and need those side dishes, I thought I'd show you how to make potato salad two different ways. One of them is just a classic potato salad that's creamy and delicious and you can't go wrong with. And the other is a loaded baked potato version that's sort of elevated. You're going to love both of them, but first do me a favor, click that subscribe button because that helps my channel grow and let's get cooking. One of the best compliments I ever got about my cooking was from my friend Christina who told me that my potato salad ministered to her. To be honest, I laughed at first because I thought it was so funny. How can a potato salad minister to someone? But she explained that it was just so comforting and so familiar that she felt it in her soul. So I'm going to start with that classic potato salad. And to be honest, there's nothing fancy about it. In fact, it's probably very similar to what you grew up with, but that's what makes it a classic. So here's what you're going to need. Some russet potatoes, some white onion or red onion. And to be honest, I prefer red onion because it just gives it a little pop of color, but I didn't have any, so I'm going with what I had. You'll need some pickles, some hard boiled eggs, which I already cooked earlier today. You'll need some mayonnaise, mustard, salt and pepper, and a little paprika for garnish. Now, sometimes I will put some finely chopped celery, but to be honest, I prefer it without. And I know a lot of you also like to put olives in it, so that's completely up to you. I like to keep mine simple. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start by putting some water to boil over the stove, and then I can peel and cut the potatoes. Russet potatoes are a great choice for potato salad, especially if you like it more on the creamy side because they tend to break up easily once cooked. At any rate, you'll want to cut them into little squares about half an inch big. Then we put the potatoes in to cook, which should take about 10 minutes or so. I almost forgot, you want to salt the water with about a teaspoon of salt, and ideally you would put that in first. While that's going, I'll prepare the other ingredients, which means chopping the onion, and dill pickles, and peeling the hard boiled eggs. Once the potatoes look done, check to see that you can stick a fork or a toothpick in them easily. And if you can, you drain the liquid and place the potatoes in a bowl. Let them cool for just a bit, then start adding the other ingredients. The chopped onion, the pickles, mayo, mustard, salt, and pepper. I'll mix it a bit, then the eggs come in last. You'll notice I use my egg slicer slicing down one way, flipping the egg halfway, and then slicing across. But I'll save a few round slices to place on top because I'm all about presentation. Just gently fold in the eggs and then taste to make sure there's enough salt. Mmm, that's perfect. I'll sprinkle a little bit of this paprika on top. And that's it. This classic potato salad is beautiful and it's ready for any barbecue or picnic. But now I'm gonna show you how to make potato salad another way. I first had this loaded baked potato salad at another friend's house who told me she found the recipe on Pinterest. But honestly, as soon as you taste it, you'll realize you don't even need a recipe because it's just like building a baked potato with a few exceptions. So here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with about a pound and a half, maybe just under two pounds of baby yellow and red potatoes. You'll need about five or six slices of good quality bacon, some fresh green onion, some grated cheddar cheese, uh, you'll be using equal parts sour cream and mayonnaise, salt, pepper, garlic salt, and then just a little bit of olive oil. These potatoes have been rinsed clean, so I'm just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces and then place them onto a baking sheet. I'll drizzle them with olive oil, sprinkle them with kosher salt, pepper, and garlic salt. 
then mix them a bit to make sure they get coated. Then I'll stick them in the oven to bake at 375 for 40 minutes. While they're in the oven, I cut up and fry the bacon. I'll wait till it's nice and crispy, and then I'll place it onto some paper towels for the excess oil to drain. And then I'll chop up the green onion and grate the cheddar cheese. These potatoes are done, and I forgot to mention that about halfway through the baking time, you'll want to take a spatula and then just flip them over. And don't worry if they're sort of stuck to the bottom because you actually want that. That's what gives you those crispy little edges. Right now, though, I'm going to let these cool and then we'll finish the salad. After a few minutes, I put the baked potatoes into a large bowl. Then I'll combine the sour cream and mayo well before adding it. I'll then put in the bacon, the green onion, and the grated cheese, reserving just a little of each for garnish. I mix well. Then I give it a taste to make sure it doesn't need anything. So at this point, you want to taste for salt. Oh, that's so good. This actually doesn't need any because I put plenty of salt in the potatoes when I was baking them. And then also the bacon has salt. So I'm gonna leave this as is, just sprinkle some of this garnish on top. This loaded baked potato salad is done and not only is it going to look so beautiful on your table, it is so, so delicious. So there you have it, potato salad two different ways. You've got your classic potato salad, which is just creamy and so wonderful with bits of pickles and hard boiled eggs and sprinkled with a little paprika. And then you've got your loaded baked potato version, which is just everything you love with your potato, the bacon, the cheese, the green onion, sour cream. Really, uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And if you can't decide, maybe you have to make both. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.